Alan Portsmouth, a club that clearly mean a lot to you, so it must be always nice to, to go back to Fratton Park. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, um, last year we had a, a really good result and a really good performance, to be fair, so hopefully we can repeat that this season. Yeah, you had a great record across the three games, wasn't it? Undefeated and then progressing in the, the trophy as well, so your, your mates back in Portsmouth, I suppose you could have a bit of banter. Yeah, definitely. It was one of them where uh, I think the away game meant a lot, a lot more to me. Um, obviously, like you said, from playing there and Obviously, it's a big, big ground, big atmosphere, and obviously we went and done a job. But obviously, we also done a job in the home games as well. Yeah, when you go back there, it must really underline all of the progress that you've made, particularly since you've been here with the U's. Yeah, as I've said before in in interviews, it was just a fresh start for me to get away from there. Um, and obviously, I found that here, and I'm grateful for that. And hopefully, we can kick on again. Yeah, and it it shows as well picking the right club. Obviously, easier said than done, but if you can make that right choice it can make such a difference yeah definitely um i'm glad it was here as well um i feel like i've really really kicked on from my time when i when i left portsmouth um i feel like i'm improving every year um and hopefully i can have another good season yeah i don't know how to what degree the other players in the squad would have needed insight really to walking out at fratton park it's an amazing atmosphere were you able to to give a bit of that ahead of the game last year uh, a little bit yeah um but i think it's it's there to see for itself do you know what i mean um obviously portsmouth's a, a massive club with a with a good background and i think a lot of people know about that already um like you said yeah i could have a little bit of a an insight to the boys um but i think it was there for itself to see did you find when you were playing at portsmouth that generally sides took quite a lot of strength from playing in front of a big crowd and and having that bounce or did it intimidate them or did you get a bit of both i think clubs would go there it's like it's like a big a big game for them obviously like i said the the atmosphere is massive it's a good stadium um and a big club so obviously teams would go there wanting to to prove a point um and i think we were definitely one of them teams last year must have been incredible particularly when liam got the goal last year and the stadium goes from having that real buzz about it and suddenly yep. they're two nil down and it changes completely and you must think oh hang on a minute we're in a, a really good position that's, that's exactly what you want i think to silence the crowd um if you go there and do that i think you put yourself in a good position um and i think we looked very good throughout the whole game obviously there was a slight slight worry towards the end when they got the goal but i thought we saw it out very well um, and hopefully we can do that again tomorrow. On a, a personal level, are you pleased with how you've started the season? Obviously the team as a whole has been a, a great opening couple of weeks, even with the defeat at Oxford, but yep. are you pleased with your own play? Yeah, definitely. Um, happy to have started the first, first few league games. Um, like you said, as a team, I think we've, we've started very well. Um, probably very unlucky not to pick up some points last week as well. Um, but other than that, I think the two home games, we've looked solid, we've looked strong. Um, and hopefully we can take that into tomorrow. On a few occasions last season you were utilised just playing in behind the striker, particularly when Mark wanted a bit of hard running in there, but with Harvey having kicked on and obviously Jack Lancaster in the mix as well, are you expecting to play deeper more often? Have you got it in your mind that you'd still like to play in that more forward role? What have you What have you been saying um, to the manager? Yeah, definitely, like you said, I've still got it in my mind to play there. It's obviously good to have in, in your locker if you can play in another position. But for me, I'm just delighted to be on the pitch. Um, so I'll play anywhere that I, I need to play. Um, obviously, I felt like I had a little bit of joy last year from playing further up in, in behind Joe and that. Um, but no, as long as I'm on the pitch, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, nice for you at the start of this new season to have the contract done as well. Always good to just be settled and yeah, have the security. Definitely. Like you said, to be settled uh, coming into the new season. I think for me, it was a no-brainer to, to stay here. Um, I think after the last two seasons that I've had, I definitely wanted to stay and, and keep improving my game. And obviously that's mainly down to the start. Yeah, and probably nothing more really than the contract underlines how you came here wanting a club to, to call home. And that's yeah. really happened season on season. You've done more and more and become a bigger and bigger part of it. Yeah, that comes with just getting that chance, like I've said to you before. Um, obviously Bonds has, has given me that um, and I'm grateful for that. And Obviously, I have to then deliver deliver on the pitch, and I feel like within myself, I've definitely improved as a player over the last three years, um, and hopefully I can kick on again this season. Cool, that's great for me. Thank you. Yeah, Adam, good. you obviously uh, were with Portsmouth before. How do you reflect on your time there? Because you were there a long, long time, weren't you? Yeah, I've, I knew nothing different, if that makes sense. I'd been there through the academy, um, growing up through all the ranks, and then obviously getting my professional contract. It was just a case of I could never really find that, that proper breakthrough. Um, I went on loans and, and like I said, I just, I just think for me it was a case of getting a fresh start somewhere else. Um, but obviously I've 
In my time at Portsmouth definitely helped me where I am today, um, and I'll be grateful for that. Um, but obviously now I'm a Cambridge player, um, and long may that continue. You obviously signed a three-year contract in the summer, didn't you? That just doesn't that show your intention to stay with the club for another number of seasons now? Yeah, exactly really? that. Um, like I said to you earlier, I feel like I've I've had a couple of good seasons here, um, and I love everything about about Cambridge at the moment, and it's definitely something I want to continue. In terms of the team's aims for this season, what do you think you can achieve? Sorry, say that again. What, what do you think the team's aims are for this season? I think I think again, like we've we've shown every single season, we start we start really well. Um, I think the squad depth we've got this year is very very good, um, and I think we've got the capabilities to go and go and have a really good season. Um, I think we've shown that, like I said, in the in the first couple of games. Now we've got a big big away game Tuesday. We can go and show how good we really are. And do you have any personal targets yourself of what you want to achieve? Um, obviously, to have a good to good season to start with. Um, obviously, it's adding adding stats to my game, goals and assists. Not really setting myself targets. As many as I can will, will be good. That's great. Thank you. No